We are scientists, we do our technical work, we do our experiments, we are super excited about it. But artists have a frame of mind that can make you think differently. And so we wanted to challenge ourselves. So I've got this big spinning painting. Can you see it? Or maybe you, you probably can't see my... And then... These are tarot card drawings that I was making, that I've imported. This is just me beginning to join things together. But I'm on an invisible plane. And so I can just keep going. There's a big CRISPR animation that I made. We have a coffee institute here that's actually here to support our nanoscience, our research. And we get funds from this coffee foundation. Now, a couple of years ago, we got a new gift from the foundation and we thought, what can we do? It's out of the box, which can really surprise us. Right? And we came with this idea of an artist in residence. So artists are very familiar with having to travel and set up shop quickly. So what I've done really is take a cutting of my studio in London and regrow it in Delft. And I'm somebody that needs a space, I make real things, and I didn't want to pretend otherwise. So what you've got here is John Walter's laboratory within the laboratories. Very early on, I studied fine art at Oxford and we studied an, a human anatomy. And so the idea of working with science was already built into my arts education but also the idea of collaborating with people outside art was there. John is extremely extrovert both in his personality and his art and uh, it appealed to us because he already had some experience with uh, work with viruses, uh, HIV and other viruses uh, which already makes some connection to the nature of our type of work but more so the way we communicated with him. Growing up in England, you know about Delft Blue, Delftware we call it, and I, that was something I very much wanted to engage with while I'm here. So one of the first um, visits I made was to the museum up the road um, to see all the porcelain. What I'm doing here is I'm making plate paintings that aren't an end product. They are parts that will be combined into bigger assemblages. They will be sunk into cardboard. Really what I'll be doing is reprogramming some other paintings with the Delft blue. And they're also not blue anymore. The colours have gone crazy. They've come into John Walter colours. What I bring to the science is a kind of cartoon element that allows it to be popularised. And I don't have to honour the science. That's already being done by the scientists. Yeah. I, can, I can take the stories elsewhere. The hope is, and we'll see how this all works out, that this artist comes here, interacts with us and challenges us. Makes us think differently about our own projects. And just through the communication, through the interface with the artist, we want to challenge ourselves. I have to just bring a lot of energy into shoving things together in order to charge them up. And then they can exist in the world. And they can exist as paintings or virtual realities or sculptures. But just to get them going, I have to throw particles, images usually, against one another. Mm -hmm then something's happening, but it begins in a total void.
Painting is one kind of synthesizer where you can conjoin things from different places. Virtual reality is another great synthesizer. You can join video, text, image, 360 video, animation, models, and then you can conglomerate them. And then you can walk around inside this environment. So what you're seeing is a 360 video of the lab and that's really the extremes of this world. This is a work in progress. This is not resolved yet. And with John, there was a, a direct uh, a communication. It was clear that he, he has ideas about evolution of his patterns and sort of theoretical framework, which is interesting, and which can in some way also connect. Compressing it and, yes, bringing it all together and collapsing it into a bigger whole, something overwhelming. I like to make things that are complex. I'm interested in complexity, not simplicity. I'm a sort of anti-20th century person. Um, I'm sort of the anti-Pete Mondrian. <laughs> But we hope that in the next coming years to have every year basically a artist in residence in the house here. It's in very different ways. I already mentioned dance, poetry, paint, uh, interactive theatre. There's all kind of ways that we can be challenged and we like that.